what's going on guys this is prodigy and today i'm bringing you another black ops 3 video and today i want to talk about a hot topic that's kind of been going around in black ops 3 and that is the varix 3 site because if you guys haven't heard already a couple of big youtubers drifter most notably being the main one made a video about some recent updates that occurred in one of the most recent black ops 3 patches and that includes that the varix 3 site insanely reduces your recoil on your guns and of course the second people heard this they immediately went crazy with it they immediately started putting the varix site on all their guns and as you can see in the gameplay right here i'm using the varix site on the man of war so you guys can kind of see it in action and just to make a quick side note on this gameplay here i'm playing some domination on nuketown you see the dark matter cam on the man of war because i just recently unlocked that on the ps4 <gasps> Whew, long breath there but yeah i like this gameplay because it was a really hard fought game you know we were losing a, a big part of it but we ended up clutching up in the end so you guys can enjoy that in the background but back to the topic uh, the varix 3 site you know it insanely reduces your recoil and i'm sure you guys will see that in the video on screen demonstrated there but yeah people immediately went crazy about this and everybody started using it and a lot of people are upset about this actually because everybody's using the the varic site and people kind of feel like it's a cheap exploit in the game that it basically gives your guns no recoil which is a little bit of an exaggeration there is still some recoil on your guns but i mean the reduction of recoil is very 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 noticeable and a lot of people feel like it's cheap which is kind of fair because you know it's i'm not sure if they purposely implemented this into the game but in my personal opinion there shouldn't be a site in the game that reduces your recoil on the gun by this much it doesn't really make sense and that's the funny thing about black ops 3 black ops 3 there have been some strange things going on in this game some strange patches some strange additions that have been implemented into the game just very strange overall and that makes the game very inconsistent which is why I, my big that's my biggest complaint about the game the biggest complaint that I have about Black Ops 3 is that it's very inconsistent from the guns to the gameplay to the gunfights everything is just so inconsistent and this is another example of that at work now while I, I do kinda see where people are coming from that you know it's kind of a cheap attachment and it shouldn't be in the game I'm not sure if they're gonna remove it or not at the same time you know what's really the big deal alright and a lot of people you asking me, you know, you heard me say that and you're like, well, you just explain what the big deal is. It's cheap. It doesn't belong in the game, blah, 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 blah. And while I do think that may be true, it doesn't really affect the game that much other than the fact that you see everybody running Varric sites on their guns now. You know, it doesn't make bad players better. It, good players are still good, so nothing changes there. You know, so, I mean, in reality, what really changes, you know? If a bad player slaps on Varix 3 site on his Man of War or on his M8 or whatever, you know, it's not going to instantly make him better. You know, it's, it's, nothing's really going to change. He's still going to be the same average or bad player that he once was. The only difference is his gun's going to have slightly less recoil. <laughs> and I mean, that doesn't make the world of difference, alright? Recoil doesn't make a player good or bad. Recoil doesn't, you know, instantly change situations. You know, recoil doesn't win you games. You know, if your gun has no recoil, then that doesn't automatically make you a better player. If that was the case, then everybody who used the ICR would basically be a god because that gun has zero recoil. And with the Varic side, it's just like complete overkill. But whatever, that's that's another topic. But I mean, just because the Varic side reduces recoil by this insane amount doesn't mean that you should freak out about it, okay? You know, I know everybody's kind of upset and especially with the whole COD 2016 being all futuristic and nobody likes Infinite Warfare. But I mean, it's okay guys, just relax. There's nothing to freak out about because at the end of the day, it doesn't really change your gameplay by that much. At the end of the day, what makes a good player a good player are a couple of things. That's map awareness, map knowledge, reaction time, gun skill, and you know things of that nature and if you're lacking in those areas then you're not gonna be good no matter what site you're using on your gun and if you're excelling in those areas then you're gonna be a better player alright it doesn't matter which site the person is using if you if you have more skill than the person you're going against then 99 percent of the time you're gonna win that gunfight I say 99 percent of the time because you know of course in Call of Duty anybody can get killed at any given moment but just to prove a point that if you if you have more skill than the person you're facing off against majority of the time you're gonna kill them no matter what they're using alright so 
I just wanted to make this quick video to kind of dispel any freakouts you guys are having. And, you know, you guys may be extremely upset about the game. You guys might want to have Drifter's head on a stake for exposing this to the Call of Duty community. And now you see it in every game you're in. But, you know, it's kind of cheap, I'll admit. And if you guys have been paying attention to the gameplay, you'll see how uh, how much the recoil reduction actually is. But it's nothing game breaking, all right. It's still gonna it's still, game, Black Ops Three still plays the same, and the better players will always shine because that's just the way it is. That's how Call of Duty is made, and that's really the end of the story. So I just wanted to make this quick video to to kind of address all the madness that's been going on. And if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you left a like on the video. That would mean a lot to me. And uh, you could always subscribe for more. You know, that'd be nice. No pressure there. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Once again, this is Prodigy. Thanks for listening.